right, let's say we dive in with another reading from the secret language of Birthday's book for May 18th, the day of established activism. Yeah, we got a picture of uh, some kind of cat creature on a, on a brush. Activism? I don't know. Speaks to that to somebody, I suppose. Hey, is it May 18th and it's your birthday? Well, if it is, I just want to extend you a heartfelt happy birthday. And if the day has long since passed, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. And for everyone else who's just joining us, if it happens to be your birthday, happy birthday. And if you're just here out of curiosity, well, I hope you enjoy yourself. And you come back for your birthday proper. All right, let's dive in, shall we? Your month is May. Your day is the 18th. Your sign is 27 to 29 degrees Taurus. Your period is Taurus 3 specifically. And your element qualities is fixed earth. May 18th, the day of established activism. Those born on May 18th are an interesting blend of tradition and liberalism. They could be described as movers and shakers with a revolutionary bent, but their primary impulse is less to overturn society than to improve it. Many born on this day are protesters speaking out against injustice and unfairness wherever they find it. But whether political or not, May 18th people treat their work, hobbies, or art in a thoroughly professional, straightforward fashion, usually preferring a clean, classical approach to a romantic, emotional one. No matter how imaginative they may be, May 18 people are highly practical. They like to get things done and without too much fuss or bother. Their unspoken nature, however, may get them into trouble as they are unable or unwilling to keep quiet when they encounter ignorance or prejudice. Those born on this day despise irrationality and, a pres and present a clear, logical approach to issues. In their families, May 18 people tend to be the voice of reason. But as parents, those born on this day must beware of exerting a kind of rationalist tyranny over their children in which they always know what is best for them and criticize them too severely for unwise actions. A danger for May 18 people is to get carried away with a cause and in doing so become as irrational as those they criticize. Those born on this day may be unaware of this tendency and when it is pointed out to them will find it difficult to accept. Harder still to change. In becoming fanatical about their views, they fall into an emotional trap of their own making. May 18 people are fascinated with many facets of life, probing, testing, tasting what life has to offer. There is a certain wholeness in the feeling tone of their personalities. When you meet them, you feel as if you have met a total person. This is perhaps because May 18 people usually get their house in order before taking on the world. If they are confused or unsure of themselves in their youth, it may be their principal task to pull themselves together later in life. Those born on this day may well define life as a struggle, perhaps an inner struggle. Conflict can become a way of life for them, always looking, as they are, for obstacles to overcome. Thus, it may be difficult for them to find rest. While appearing to be together people, those born on May 18th may be somewhat out of touch with their own desires. Busy as they are with societal and fam family responsibilities, they often suppress legitimate personal needs, inviting unhappiness. They may be unaware that the first gray tinges of bitterness are setting in. Family and friends may serve as a mirror in this regard and should encourage May 18th person to express frustrations if necessary. Well, all right, let's move on to those born on this day so we know what company May 18 people are in. All right, we've got Bertrand Russell, the famous British philosopher, mathematician. He wrote Principa Mathematica. He was a pacifist, an atheist. And he wrote Why I Am Not a Christian. He was a Nobel Prize winner for literature. We also have John Paul II. As of the writing of this book, he was the current pope. Uh, we have Frank Capra, the film director of Arsenic and Old Lace, It's a Wonderful Life, and he was also a producer. We have Margot Fontaine, British uh, ballet dancer. Nicholas II, he was the last Russian czar murdered with family in a revolution. 
We got Reggie Jackson, baseball outfielder, quote unquote, Mr. October, four time AL home run champion, MVP, and series MVP with five home runs. We got Rudolf Carnap. He was a German American lo- uh, logician, uh, philosopher, and a logical providist. Oh, Jacob Javits, a U.S. congressman, New York. Big Joe Turner, who was a blues singer. We got Brooks Robinson, Baltimore Orioles, baseball third baseman, and a six-time gold glover. We got Perry Como, the singer-TV host. We also have Kai Winding, or Winding, a Danish jazz trombonist. We got George Strait, the country western singer-songwriter. We got Charles Trennett, French singer-songwriter, writer of A Dazzling Black. Don Leslie Lind, U.S. astronaut, NASA commander. We have Richard Brooks, who was a film director of Looking for Mr. Goodbar. And we've got Toya Wilcox, British rock musician and actress. We also have Meredith Wilson, a show singer. Warren Rudman, a U.S. senator of New Hampshire. And Pierre Balmain, a French designer. All right, let's move on to your numbers and your planets. I know you want to know them. All right. Those born in the 18th of this month are ruled by the number 9, as 1 plus 8 equals 9, and by the planet Mars. So the number 9 is powerful in its influence on other numbers, as any number added to 9 yields that number. For example, 5 plus 9 equals 14, and 4 plus 1 equals 5. Any number multiplied by 9 yields a 9. 9 times 5 equals 45. 4 plus 5 equals 9. And many 18 people are similarly able to exert a strong influence on those around them. Such powerful Martian energy can, however, be at odds with a more placid Venusian temperament, as Venus is the ruler of Taurus. A combination of Venus and Mars produces a highly magnetic and sexual orientation which, if frustrated, may present a danger to those born on this day. Let's move on to your tarot. The 18th card of the major arcana is the moon, which primarily represents the world of dreams, emotions, and the unconscious. Positive attributes include sensitivity, empathy, and emotional understanding. Negative qualities include emotional malleability, passivity, and a lack of ego. Well, that sounds like a positive. I'm not sure. All right, let's move on to your health. Balancing the above-mentioned Mars-Venus energies is very important for May 18 people. Guarding against suppression of desire is part of the equation. Those born on this day often demand greater attention than most in the sexual sphere, but such demands can well be satisfied through other forms of sensual expression or sharing of affection and tenderness. Outbursts of temper and bitterness that accompany denial of personal needs may manifest in a host of physical symptoms, including nervous and muscular imbalances of all kinds, and in the worst case scenario, strokes, high blood pressure, and other cardiovascular difficulties. A partial or complete vegetarian diet can help reduce the risk of such dangers. And those born on this day should also program frequent rest periods into their schedule. Regular sleep patterns are equally important and a daily nap helpful if it doesn't cause sleep uh, sleeplessness at night. All right, here is some advice. Take time off and get to know yourself better. Withdraw from the world periodically in order to recharge. Learn to heed your inner voice and be guided rather than driven. Cultivate tolerance and acceptance of others, even if you can't suffer their ideas. All right, here is your meditation. And this, too, shall pass. All right, right to the point. Here are your strengths and your weaknesses. Your strengths, you're committed, idealistic, responsible. And your weaknesses, unaccepting, self-denying, and driven. Don't know how that's a weakness, but you know, 
Maybe for this day. I'm not sure. Your season is spring. Again, your sign is Taurus. Taurus 3 specifically. And your element qualities is fixed earth. This has been the Secret Language of Birthdays book for May 18th, the day of established activism. Hey, did that speak to you? Uh, let me know down in the comments. You know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I found that mine spoke to me quite a bit, but at first I was a bit of a denier. Uh, I had to have a little self-reflection on that. But uh, in any event, this book makes a great coffee table book. Huge conversation starter if you have company over or throw a party. Um, over a million copies sold for a reason, as I like to say. So uh, if you're interested, go on down to the description. I have an affiliate link in there, and you can... Uh, get you a copy or do a little shopping uh, through the link to support the channel and I'd appreciate that for sure uh, in any event hey I hope you have a happy birthday and for everyone else who joined in just out of curiosity well I hope you joined you enjoyed yourself and that you uh, come back in the future for your birthday reading all right you take care of yourselves all right <laughs>